Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Corrupt Al 125 in this video. Papa John's new crispy parm pizza review. This is the second new one that he uploaded yesterday and I'm gonna react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Today we're going to try Papa John's new crispy parm pizza, which, as the name goes, there's crispy parmesan on the bottom. All their advertising is like, hey, flip it over, there's crispy parmesan. Yep, that, that's correct. Um, now, I'm not sure how much of a real innovation this is. It feels like we're getting to the point with um, the pizza where they're really just throwing anything they can at the wall to try and make it stick. And so they said, you know what, let's just put cheese on the bottom and crisp it up. Uh, people will love it, which they might. And that pe by people, I mean me, because who doesn't like extra cheese? And it's not just Parmesan. It's a mix of Parmesan and Romano, according to the website. And um, it's a one topping for $12.99 right now if you're like a member of the Papa John's app um but there's no like membership you just sign up so if you have an account on the papa john's app you can order it now if you don't you gotta wait like two or three days till uh february 2nd i think um to get it so we'll see how good it is we'll see if it's worth making a papa john account in a second uh first i got my pepsi here uh and this is a pro tip that i just um just dawned on me uh today and i never thought about it before but it makes total sense when it's cold outside, depending on where you are, I'm in Texas, it's not cold very often, but there is a couple months where it's generally pretty cold and we're getting there. When it's cold enough outside, you can just keep a nice 12-pack or 24-pack in the trunk of your car, and it'll always give you a nice cold Pepsi whenever you want it when you're out driving. So I just have a nice ice-cold Pepsi right here, ready to go without even having to think about it. And I just noticed that because I went to my trunk and I was like, oh yeah, I left a 15 pack of Pepsi back here. It's cold, so great. Got the, tips are, the tips are flowing in, you know, I'm just, I'm learning. Uh, Sorry everyone, I had to crack my neck a little bit. Sorry about that. You learn something new every day. So I got the napkins in the back seat. I got the soda in the trunk. Uh, so I'm ready to go anytime I need to, you know, drink a Pepsi and kill myself a little faster. But anyways, let's let's try this pizza. Um, you can get it. It's one topping. As I said, for twelve ninety nine, you get one topping. Um, they also had a deluxe cheese pizza, a deluxe cheese Parmesan crisp pizza option, which I pushed to check out what it was, and it's just Alfredo sauce. There was nothing else like added. So what you're getting is a, uh, just a cheese pizza with Alfredo sauce. So if you are going to get that one, there's there's really no reason to. You should add a topping to it. Um, Instead of getting that one, you should just add and customize the regular one um, and then put Alfredo sauce if you want it. I mean, Alfredo sauce might be better, but I just went with a regular old pizza, regular sauce um, with pepperoni as the topping because pepperoni is great. And I love it. So you got your usual accoutrement, you got your garlic, you got your pepperoni, which I've never seen anybody use. Um, except my dad occasionally will eat them, but he'll just eat it as it is. I've never seen anybody like eat it with the pizza, but whatever. Let's try the Parmesan pizza. Oh. Hmm. I don't know quite what to think. I'm going over it in my head, and it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's great, but it just screams so much of gimmick to me that I feel like I shouldn't give it too high of a review score, even though I think it does work. It adds a nice... It adds a nice texture to it. It does add a nice crispy crispiness to the pizza that's not normally there with the Papa John's pizza. But then again, I don't normally get thin crust Papa John's pizza, which is what this is. It's thin crust, not regular crust. And I go back and forth depending on the location of whether I like thin crust or regular crust. But I can't say I've really had Papa John's thin crust often enough to necessarily say if the crunch is coming from that or the Parmesan. But I think it's, I think it's the Parmesan that's making the nice crunch and texture variation between the top of the pizza and the bottom, which is great. And I like the Parmesan Romano taste. I'm a big fan of the kind of, it's almost burnt. It's almost like burnt cheese on the bottom, but I love burnt cheese. Uh, burnt cheese is always the best part of every 
I guess, Italian dish. Like, if you're making lasagna, you want the edges with the burnt cheese. That's the good stuff, um, as far as I'm concerned. So I appreciate it in that respect. But I don't feel like it's really adding too much over just a regular pepperoni thin crust pizza. Um, it, it's, it's a nice taste. It's a nice texture. But I don't think it really differentiates itself enough for me to want to reward it, if that makes sense. Which, you know, I'm just a random guy. But I feel like I don't want to give I, I want to give it a five. I think it's great. But I think I'm going to give it a four solely for the reason that if I was going to get Papa John's again, like if I was going to go to Papa John's tomorrow, I wouldn't get this pizza. I would probably just get a stuffed crust pizza because I like Papa John's stuffed crust. And stuff crust has stuck around. Uh, Papa John's, you know, they introduce new stuff all the time. They take it on and off. That's cool. Um, keep me in business. But the stuffed crust has stuck around for quite a while now, and they haven't taken it off the menu. And I have a feeling they probably won't, or if they do, it'll be a while from now. Because they people like stuffed crust. When Pizza Hut, you know, invented the stuffed crust pizza way back in the day, they hit on something that people really like, and it's a nice experience. It's a nice addition to pizza that people will pay for, um, you know, besides toppings and stuff like that. Because there's only so many places you can go with pizza, as I said, which is why they're trying this Parmesan crust on the bottom. But compared to stuffed crust, this is like nothing, you know. It's, 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 I wouldn't call it an innovation. That's what I'm saying. Like, stuffed crust is like an innovation in pizza. It, it, it makes a whole new pizza category, uh, so to speak, which Papa John's copied. But this does not. I don't know if anybody else will do this because while it does work, it's just not that exciting. It's just not that, you know, interesting. It's not specifically that tasty or new um, compared to what stuff crust was. Now stuff crust is a staple, and it's gonna. It's pretty much a staple at Papa John's now, and that's what I would prefer over this one um, because I just love stuff crust, and that's where I want to get my cheesiness from is from the stuff crust. This addition of cheese, while nice, doesn't really hit that urge. It doesn't scratch that itch um so it's you know it's a good pizza it's a solid pizza i think papa john's makes good pizzas in general i haven't really had a bad pizza from papa john's personally i think they're usually pretty quality and i love the sauce that they give you for free that's fantastic but this one is just it's kind of like a swing and a miss it's it's not it's not bad but it's just not that worthy of an addition um so if people want to try it, you know, go ahead. It's going to be a good pizza, but I really don't think it's going to excite anybody. I don't think anybody's going to be super happy about this pizza necessarily um, compared to something like stuffed crust. Like I said, if I'm going back to Papa John's, I'll get a stuffed crust over this any day. So you got to take that into account. So Papa John's crispy parm pizza. You tried Papa John's. I appreciate it. I appreciate the new items you put out. Keep doing it. Keep trying. But this one's just not a hitter um, in my experience in my opinion so i'll give it a four out of five again if you want to go to papa john's and try it out if it sounds interesting to you definitely do it it's a good pizza it's a solid pizza you won't be disappointed necessarily but you might be well at this point it might be actually a good word for it you might be a little disappointed by you know how little it really adds but you won't be disappointed overall with the taste of the pizza unless your papa john's really sucks in which case don't listen to me um, so that's Papa John's Crispy Parm Pizza, 4 out of 5, and I will see you all next time. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel... Or corrupt Al 125's channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate that too. 
And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel and give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate that. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.